Ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day today here in the heart of RV country in Lane County, Oregon. Today I'm hanging out at Kenai Coach and I found this absolutely stunning Country Coach Intrigue 530 Ovation floor plan. And today I'm hanging out with the famous Terry Smith. How you doing today, sir? Hey, doing great, Andrew. Good to see you again. Likewise, this is another beautiful Country Coach behind you. What's the story on this one, sir? It's the Ovation. It's a 42 footer. It's got the Cat C13 in it, 525 horsepower. And it's a beautiful coach. It's not quite ready to go down the road yet, but it's getting really close. We're gonna put new 3M uh, on the front of it because uh, there's some streaks in the, uh, the 3M. So there's a few little odds and ends to do yet, but it's getting real close to being ready to go down the road. Not even on your website yet. Nope. So this just came in. Yes. This is an 07. You were telling me earlier Earlier that this is your favorite year for the Intrigue. Why do you like this coach so much? Well, it's got two flush floor slides in the front, so you don't have that uh, high uh, flooring for the slide going in and out that has to get covered up with uh, sofas and such as that. So it's got two flush floor slides, and I've got two of these. This is one of them, but I've got two of them, and they're completely the same floor plan, but they're different paint schemes, different wood in the interior. And so the other one will be back in a couple of weeks, and it'll be ready to market as well. Yeah, so flush floor f slides, uh, Dynamax chassis, and we've talked about the Dynamax chassis a little bit in some other videos, but yeah. what makes the Dynamax chassis so great? They're very, very stout. They're not a rail chassis. Like, like all of them are made on rail chassis today, unless you get yourself a Prevo. But these, the whole framework of the coach itself, the whole structure of the coach is part of the chassis. So it doesn't have near as... Uh, thick frame rails which means you have more basement storage underneath your frame rails now oregon motor coach uh, does the inspection on this coach sorry i know the sun's yeah. in your eyes let's walk a little let's walk inside and i want to tell the folks more about this coach now i've got to give everybody a close-up i love just how great of condition these headlights are in now you did mention that the diamond shield needs to be replaced there's some sort of a chemical and that's why folks you got to be so careful when you go to get the bugs off the front of these Beautiful front end. I can tell it's in great condition, but just just a couple little streaks in this diamond shield really not that big of a deal so but we're, we're having that taken off and new put on and this is actually a 3m product on this one diamond shield also makes the same thing that's what a newmar uh, uses diamond shield but it's the same thing as a film for, to protect you from rock chips going down the road yeah beautiful colors in this coach i love the deep reds and burgundy uh with the cream colored pinstripes i've got to give everybody a close up on all this look at that uh cat generator there usually we see the onans what's the story on this generator well they just started using cats about this time period and uh it's a 10 kw so it's plenty of power to run all three heat pumps and anything else you want to run inside at the same time just want to look at a few of these bays here and uh get you guys a look at this coach but what a what a stunning coach now this is going to be the plumbing bay and when you see when, when I open this up, you'll see you know how far ahead of the game Country Coach was. Look at all that styling, and I don't. This has not been detailed yet. I don't think uh, the outside has. Okay, yeah, yeah. Look at that styling. I mean, this is a plumbing bay from 07 with all that brushed aluminum look. Water filter access. Here's a look at that hydronic heating system. Big pass-through uh, manual slide-out trays. The slide master slide trays, I really like those. And when you look inside here, you can just see how clean and how well-kept this coach was. Now, oh yeah, look at that. How, how many pounds can you put on that? Well, I'm 180 oh. pounds. Holy smokes. Wow, that says a lot. I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd want to do that, but uh, that says a lot. Um, now, Country Coach Intrigue, this is one of the most popular Country Coach models. Cat C13, what's the diesel uh, fuel carrying capacity in this coach? The carrying capacity on this one, I believe, is 110 gallons. Uh, fresh water holding tank? Uh, it was right at 100 gallons. Black and, and black and 50, gray? 60 gallons. Okay, yeah. nice. a lot of equipment here, a lot of storage. Now, I'm seeing like a VORAD, like a radar detection system yeah. on the side of the coach here. 
What's what's going on with that sensor that I'm seeing there? Okay, uh, on the Monaco Signature and Executives, I have a couple of them over there. Uh, that was an option that I see quite often on the higher end Monaco products. But this is the first country coach I've had in 20 years that had a Vorad system on a country coach. So that was definitely an add-on at the factory. And what that does is you can set your cruise control to the to the vehicle in front of you and when they slow down it'll automatically slow the coach down when they speed up you'll speed up without having to hit cancel and resume and so um, it also it has a little beep and a red light will come on on either that post or this post to tell you there's an obstacle over here don't change lanes and wow yeah that was technology way ahead of the game um, now date codes on the tires what's uh looks like uh looks like mission michelin's with a 37th week of 2016 day code on the front so it's going to have new tires before it leaves here on the front i go 10 years on the rear i go five years on the front so at five years i take the front ones put them on the tag for another five years okay. so you're still getting 10 years out of your tire but only five years on the front because if you have a flat on the front you're in trouble yes it sir can even be life-threatening so i always keep real fresh tires on the front the rear you got six tires back there they don't get near the stress the front ones get and so i go 10 years some people say eight years all the way around i prefer to go 10 years back there five years up here I like it. We all have a rhyme and reason to the way we do things. And if you lose a tire back here, you got two more on that corner to get on down the road to get it fixed. But you lose one on the front and you're dead in the water. Yes, sir. Okay, let's see what the dates are back here. Might be the same. 17. 17, okay. Inamax chassis, semi monocoque construction. And check this out, a little uh, side camera back here. I don't know if I've ever seen that. It looks like it's almost they, aftermarket or? Yeah. If you notice the monitor on the dash is real big and you can look out all four cameras while you're going down the road. Nice. So you get a view back here as well as a view up there alongside. Nice. And that was added on by the previous owner. Yeah, there's that Cat C13 and... Here you have your air charge cooler, which is this unit here. Yeah. It cools down your air temperature from your turbos. Then you have your radiator. Yeah. You have your hydraulic cooler. And you got your transmission cooler and you got your dash ac condenser unit so they're all packaged here in this corner so if you have an accident don't take out this corner there's a lot of stuff going on 05 and on had aluminum radiators that all failed they were one piece welded and you couldn't fix them if they started leaking and being aluminum it expands and contracts much more than the other metals do and they start getting little hairline cracks and it gets worse and worse so the way to tell if it's been replaced and upgraded with the uh, copper core with the steel in tanks that are gasketed and bolted is you see these bolts right across here those bolts also go all the way down the side on both sides so that's how you know that it's got the the uh, copper steel radiator in it instead of the aluminum one that's seventy five hundred dollars to do that and they all have to have it it's not if it's 05, when oh five and on yeah most most of them now on the older ones have been replaced um but you, you need to take that into consideration because that's seventy five hundred bucks and you need to take it to somebody that has experience doing those and then you have your uh the pto didn't have a wet kit, meaning some of it didn't get lubricated. And so to replace that's $2,500. And that's your power takeoff unit, PTO, power takeoff. And that runs your hydraulic fan and your power steering. You lose that, you have no steering control and no cooling for all of these coolers back here. So those two items, the power takeoff, the PTO and the radiator is $10,000. New tires and new battery, all new batteries, is another ten thousand dollars foggy windows is three to four thousand dollars so the coaches may look the same one might have more miles than the other people buy the one with the less miles big mistake because now none of that stuff's been done and you got to catch it all up to speed so and that's just the beginning of it so there's a huge difference on these coaches between one and the other uh, besides just the appearance and the amount of miles the amount of miles don't tell you anything about the condition of it and people are just way over concerned with miles i sold one with over 300,000 miles and they're thrilled with the coach another guy bought his country coach brand new has over 500,000 miles on it so don't make your decision over which coach has the least amount of miles because there's so much more to the coach that you need to be paying attention to i'm not seeing any rust that's that's something i learned from you terry look if they've got a lot of rust then run but i'm looking down in here 
getting that camera down there. So a little rust in a few spots uh, on the surface, that's okay. Uh, yeah. But if it's heavily rusted, uh, no. Yeah. All right, let's climb. I, I haven't climbed on the roof on a motorhome a while, but if you're climbing up there, I'm going to climb up there as well. Uh, I used to do this a lot when I was washing coaches. This has been a while. Yeah, you can see the condition of the slide toppers. Yeah. Four solar panels. It's got the, um, the little razor for your local stations. It does still have the original dome on the front, but some people are streaming now, so they don't want a antenna. So we wait and find out what the customer wants before we take the old dome off and put on a uh, Leica Wine Guard Traveler. Yeah, and uh, three rooftop ACs. Yes, are heat, those heat pumps. Beautiful panoramic view of your lot here. See, there's a bunch more coaches over there, but I'm gonna, while we're up here, I'm just gonna walk the roof of this coach. I haven't been on the roof of a motorhome in a while, and definitely tells a story you can see the paints kind of peeling off the satellite cover here that's typical but the front cap seems to be all good up there as well a little bit of paint wear on these caps very common but slide out toppers all in good condition as you mentioned solar panels all in good condition four solar panels up here all of your vent covers are in good condition See, that's good. Yeah, now we'll, we'll have a, an inspection done on the roof by Oregon Motor Coat Center and make sure that everything's uh, watertight. And what type of a roof does Country Coach, does this model have? It's one piece fiberglass. You can have a party up here. There's heavy plywood underneath it. And so I've never had a roof rod out. Uh, just all one piece other than your penetrations, which you need to get inspected uh, once a year. I say in the fall, get your all your roof penetrations inspected. And Oregon Motor Coach is great for doing that. Absolutely. Well, let's, let's go take a look inside of this coach. I'm excited. Well, I miss climbing up on the roof of those. I'll tell you what, I was about 20 pounds lighter about a year ago when I used to do that every day. I think maybe we'll have to get in that routine, but let's go take a look inside of this coach. I wonder if you needed help getting up there. <laughs> yes, sir, almost. I've, I've been eating too good. So 10,000 10, pound hitch. Oh, 10,000 pound hitch. Okay, great. Automatic awnings over the windows. Okay. Now there's a few light limb scuffs on the clear coat and those are all getting polished out. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he's coming tomorrow. Okay, detail the detail. Guy, and he'll polish out the limb scuff. Sorry guys, that was a day early, but this coach, I like to see it in this condition where it's definitely still popping even without being polished. Great looking coach. Now, the front entry door to Country Coach, probably the widest in the industry that I know of. I'm not sure, I haven't measured them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely one of the widest in the industry. Let's take a look here and um, if you ever do need to bring furniture in and out, you can always go to Oregon Motor Coach Center to have that kind of remodel work done, but makes it so much easier with, it's gotta be close to a 36 inch wide door there. Wow, well this is a beautiful coach. What is going on up here, Terry? Uh, this is that backup camera that they've added uh, uh, four side cameras, two in the rear, two in the front. So you can watch four screens, one screen, two screens. You can configure it however you want. Yeah. And so this is an add-on. Massaging heated seats as yes. well. Uh -huh. And I love it. Both, both seats turn around to be part of the living area. And then this desk is huge. I got the leaf in it right now because you can take the leaf out and then this goes in. Yeah, what a... Heated, heated towel floor. Okay. There's one zone up here and one zone in the middle. And most of the time that's all the heat you need. And then you're not listening to the heat pumps roar and you don't have to have the diesel boiler going. Yes, sir. I'm going to go back up to the cockpit area here just to get a good look at this steering wheel at the at the ergonomics now will this be better for a taller guy like myself yeah um yeah, you got more room go ahead and have a seat and, uh, yeah let's and uh you can run the seat back a little bit but see it's adjustable pedals so with adjustable pedals it accommodates long-legged people like yourself and short-legged people like myself <laughs> yes sir yeah we were just taking a look at some of the shorter 36 foot and 32 foot coaches that's the Vorad's uh warning there the green is good yellow caution and red oh right means, here means there's somebody next to you. yeah and they had something mounted there we're getting those holes fixed and then that'll be cleaned up okay like i say this one just getting started and it'll be a couple of weeks yet before it's ready to go down the road 
Yeah, I like all of your cruise control and your steering wheel, your lights, your windshield wipers all on your steering wheel. We got separate controls for the dash AC and heat here and separate controls for the co-pilot. So okay. you're not fighting over the thermostat. Yeah, yeah. TV's yeah. been upgraded to Samsung. And it's uh, uh, got a Blu-ray LG for your DVDs. This is where your satellite receiver will go. Okay. And this is ventilation. They put a couple little computer fans here. You can turn on with these switches just to keep that compartment cool. In the hot summertime with the electronics, it gets warm in there. Yeah, we just saw those three uh, rooftop AC units up there. Now, this has got this beautiful piece here. I always like to get a close-up on these of the different materials with the wood and leather. Now, not only does that look really good but it keeps the noise down on those rooftop acs as well yeah and we got led lighting it's been upgraded now does this couch over here turn into a sleeper or i'll show you how this one works oh easy peasy a lot of countertop space with that big desk Boom, and then it's flat, Real so, flat. Yeah, so you could even put like a memory foam topper over that to really make it smooth. But that's a very tall bed. Tall guys like myself can appreciate that. It's a seven foot sofa. Okay. So. Yeah, you got yeah, plenty of headroom there, Terry. So, well, no time for napping. We got to keep working here. Awesome. <laughs> but really great condition. Do you think this is the original leather? Yes. Wow. Yeah, really in good condition. And that really tells a story of how well this coach was cared for. And Oregon Motor Coach can make any modifications. We can take this desk out, put in another recliner. We can put in a love seat. Uh, you know, two recliners. Once you're parked, you can drag the recliner anywhere you want. Yeah. That's a nice thing about recliners versus a sofa. You're looking one direction. So. Yeah, that's a very high-end recliner. I can tell. That looks pretty comfortable there. You're... You're getting real comfortable in this coach, uh, Terry. <laughs> uh, now we've got the dinette set up with the extra chairs out here. So these are the main chairs that are gonna come with it. And look how yeah. large those chairs are. And then a couple extra dinette chairs. If you eat too much turkey at Thanksgiving, you can adjust the table <laughs> accordingly. So I like it. Gives you more room on that side or on this side. And then yeah. of course, this is in. Now this gives you a lot of room to set beverages and desserts and stuff like that. Yeah, and a beautiful countertop here. What type of material is this? this it's is... Corian. Okay. So Matt Carr, the owner of Oregon Motor Coach Center, he was his department was all the Corian, all the cabinets, anything wood in the coach. So the subfloor, the partitions between the basement bays, that was all his department at Country Coach when all these coaches were built. So anytime you have need this resurfaced or you have a crack in it. They can fix it. We know the guy that wrote the owner's manual. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Storage of overhead here, all very clean, lined with carpet. The galley is huge in this coach. What's going on here, sir? Because the 42, it gives you a little more room. Yeah, so you'll have a, if it was a 40, that would be a six foot sofa, not a seven foot sofa. You'd lose a foot out of here. So this is all going to shrink. So um, it, that extra two feet really gives you a little more breathing room. Yeah. And I like having the tag axle myself. Now they made the 40 with a tag in this coach yeah. as well. Yes. yes. But yeah, 42, uh, this, this is a lot of, now uh, appliances, does this coach have a dishwasher? It doesn't, but uh, we've uh, Oregon Motor Coats uh, installs them for a lot of our customers that want them. And with the dishwasher, you can also use it for storage for pots and pans. You don't have to use it just for, so you don't lose that space when yeah. you put a dish drawer dishwasher in. And the, it'd be a Fisher Paykel okay. brand. What is this area here in the middle of the coach? Oh, a lot of storage. All lined with carpet and adjustable shelving. And the woodwork that Country Coach does is just amazing. Is that a residential refrigerator? It is. Now, was that stock with the coach, I'm assuming? Yeah, this is an original. It's an Amana. Okay. Some people are changing them out to, to uh, Samsung's. 
but uh, yeah it's 110 and you can run it off of your inverter you got a big battery bank there for plenty of power when you're dry camping and of course you got a big generator there you can keep your batteries up with you can put that on auto gen start so if the batteries get down you're gone it'll automatically kick on you can set it for quiet hours at night so you're not waking up your neighbors during the middle of the night or yourself very cool and i love that that wood grain on the refrigerator how it perfectly matches the rest of the wood in the coach making it feel like a piece of furniture that was built into the coach good size uh master bedroom and bathroom back here well, see the slide out goes all the way here to the shower otherwise when you're here at the sink you're going to be right in the middle of grand central station for everybody else but this gets you out of the way and gives you a really big counter for setting all your uh, different items there so um so this becomes a double pocket door when the slide is in it's a single pocket door nice now this can have a king bed put in it if somebody wants a king bed um see how big this is here yeah and huge how small that is so this will accommodate a king of course it'll make it a little tighter here but with this you don't need the space in the bedroom as much as you would otherwise what have you in your experience and i know with inflation prices are always changing what would it typically cost i know people have to get a direct coat quote from oregon motor coach center to get mm -hmm. something like this done but what do you think roughly ballpark it would cost to have this switched out for a king size bed well it depends on what mattress you want if you want to sleep by number or what you can pick your own mattress they're readily available but to make the platform extend out a foot and then to make this smaller you're looking at a couple thousand dollars at the most okay yeah so yeah not not pretty reasonable if you if that's something that's real important to you and you like everything else in this coach i like it a lot of them won't accommodate that it's too tight back here or they have something here in the corner to where uh when the slide comes in it gets in the way with the mattress but this one here yeah it's no problem getting a king bed put in this one yep. now one thing though um if you want it to to match you'd need to make a new headboard oh yep yep it's going to be offset a little bit yep that makes sense so now you're looking at another 500 to a thousand bucks yeah on how carried away you want to get with probably it. looking at about yeah. five grand with a mattress and everything yeah, give or take yeah, yeah. yeah you're right now uh washer dryer does this coach have a washer dryer that would be over here yeah <laughs> Okay, yes. Yeah, it's the XC, combo. extra capacity, so yeah. you can stick an extra sock in there. So. <laughs> uh, then wardrobe across the back of the coach there. Yeah, a lot of wardrobe space. Lots of manuals in here, and they categorize them all into categories. I've never seen anyone do that before. There's your touch-up paint, and uh, there's Eat and Vorad that tells all about it. Morton, you're going to want to know the Pioneer Radio Navigation System, so that's kind of... They were a real detailed person. A lot of value in that box. Yes, sir. And that's... maintenance records go with it. Lot. That's something you definitely want to know. More storage down there below your washer dryer. Yeah, that's what I was looking oh, for. Oh, the safe. I like it. Yeah, but, but there's a problem with that, Andrew. When you buy a coach from me, you shouldn't have any money left to put in the safe. <laughs> so you don't need a safe once you buy a coach from me. I've got your money. <laughs> True story. All right, Terry, talking about money. Let's sit down and talk business a little bit. I just, I like this coach. I just want to sit down and hang out. But uh, so 2007, uh, 80,000 miles on it. How many, how much dough do you need for this coach? Uh, this one is 189. And that's with everything complete. And that's with Oregon Motor Coach Center going through making sure everything is operational. Mm -hmm. Now, not cosmetic mm -hmm. stuff, but everything else. Uh, yeah, and, and some cosmetic stuff. Okay. Like we're going to buff out the limb scuffs. Limb scuffs usually happen there because that's the side the trees are on when you're going down a city street. And so uh, once in a while I'll get limb scuffs on this side, but they polish out real easily. And uh, that's all going to be done tomorrow. I didn't see any foggy windows in this coach. They've, al the they've already been done. Yeah. Nice. $3,500 worth. Wow. Uh, almost every country coach I get, 05 and newer, will have foggy windows. And so a lot of them will have the shades pulled down when you're looking inside of a coach. And they you don't know it till you drive off, have the shades up, and the sun comes out. Yeah. So, um, now, before 2005, it was a creeping window seal. The, the gasket between the windows would creep when it gets warm, and it'd never go back again. But they fixed that problem. Hardly any of those fogged up. But 05 and newer, then you get the uh, foggy window problem. And so the company that does it for me gives a two-year guarantee on them. Nice. And uh, almost every single window on every country coach I get, 05 and newer, we get done. Terry, your phone keeps ringing. So if someone's a serious buyer, I suggest they pick up the phone and give you a call as soon as possible. If they are a serious buyer, how can they get a hold of you? 
Well, you can go to my website. You can email me. Uh, my website is Kenai Coach, K E N A I Coach, C O A C H dot com. My email is Kenai Coach at gmail dot com. And my phone number is 541 952 1016. Awesome. Well, Terry, I greatly appreciate you showing us this beautiful country coach. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you, Andrew.